So what's going on guys, it is Jeremy, it is Speedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions of what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So Joe Gallagher has posted on his Twitter account that his fighter, former British light heavyweight champion Jose Burton, will take on Frank Warren's light heavyweight prospect. And a fighter who a lot of people have noticed recently, Anthony Yard. And I think that's a very good fight. Like, I think that could be a right good fight. Because you've got Jose Burton, who is a good fighter. I know a lot of people are going to say, yeah, but he lost to Frank Borgione. He got stopped in that fight. But he was winning that fight until he was stopped. Like, he was caught in the final round, um, Jose Burton. He was exhausted in that fight. It was a very hard, tough fight, but he was winning the fight. But Frank Bugley only caught him in the final round and just managed to put him away and take his British title off him. So it'll be interesting to see how Anthony Yard gets on with somebody like Jose Burton because Anthony Yard has been a fighter I've been watching, a fighter who I think looks good, but... The opponents he's been fighting are just absolute spuds, in my opinion. Like, some of these guys he's been fighting are just terrible. Like, Jesus Christ, some of these guys are shit. Like, that guy fought in his last fight um, a couple of weeks ago. What was his name? Baranji or something like that. Yeah, Baranji. Like, this guy was, like, 18-1, and one, and he was the WBO European champion. And I don't know where the... F Fuck Frank Warren dug him from. It looked like he just went down to the local dole office and picked him up. Like, do you want 300 quid cash in hand? Come and get in the ring. Fucking hell, like that guy was shit. But it'd be interesting to see how Anthony Yaw gets on against somebody who's going to fight back. Because I think Anthony Yaw can be a fighter who can go on and do good things. Because so far, he's looked very good. He's got quick hands. Um, he hits very hard and he's got a good style like I think Anthony Yard if he can pull it off against um, live opponents could be a very exciting fighter he's a very heavy handed fighter he's a very big light heavyweight in my opinion like he's massive for the weight you got Jose Burton who's tall and gangly he's the cousin of Tyson Fiore Jose Burton so I think that could be a very good fight and I'll have to reserve judgment at the moment on who I think could win that fight because I don't know because Anthony Yard looks like he could be the part but we just haven't seen him in there with somebody who's going to fight back so far whereas Jose Burton yeah he's got his loss to Buglione but he's had a couple of good fights he has that win over Miles Shink win and stuff like that so yeah it'd be interesting to see that fight when it's going to happen. And I think if Anthony Yard. Can destroy. Um, Jose Burton. Like a lot of people are already saying he will do. Then I think that's a real statement. Especially to Frank Buglione. Who was losing the fight to Jose Burton. Until he managed to catch him. In the last round. So yeah this is just my opinion on this. Comment below in the comment section. It's JM Speedboxing.